Chikatula Secondary School in Bembe Municipality in Limpopo recently received two state-of-the-art multi-purpose sport courts which were implemented by the Sports Trust on behalf of the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture together with Netball South Africa as part of their Netball World Cup Legacy Programme. The Netball World Cup 2023 will be held in Cape Town, South Africa from the 28th of July to the 6th of August at the International Convention Centre and will bring the world's top teams together. It is the first time that Africa is hosting this tournament. Thank you so much. We are very much delighted by the facility. This is part, of course, of rural development in the rural area of Vembe, Bumlima village. We are very much delighted because this is a part of our objectives as the sport to make sure that we at all costs build the nation building and social cohesion in response to the priority number six of creating a safer environment for our community members. So for the uh, facility of this nature, I hope and believe that uh, it is going to make sure that we drive off our learners, our kids um, away from the drug abuse and substance and bring them to a social space of sport, art and culture. Look at now where we are, you know, the, the, the Sports Trust and the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture together with Netball South Africa and the legacy for 2023 Netball World Cup. I mean, you can see on our t-shirt is, is, is written Grow 2023. Why do we want to go 2023? Is because of we want to grow the players. We want more players of this caliber that are playing here, you know, to say it's, it's possible. Bongim Somi is from Hammondsdale. Whoever thought that a girl from Hammondsdale will lead the country into a World Cup? I mean, recently the girls went to Fast Five, not even the national team. I was even saying to the director, the is it's the third team of the country that came back now with the silver medal so it means netball is growing in the country and thank you to the department of sports Arts and culture let's thank the minister minister that uh, in to say thank you for your initiative and thank you for putting women's first because we've been crying as women to say we are not recognized so we see the recognition and you know we always complain but sometimes we need to give credit where it's due thank you so much this course will mean a lot for us Vember district will at least have cost to play leagues on the the Twizer netball club championships will play here the district, you know, uh, clubs, uh, leagues will play here. A lot of things that would happen here. And I think as a whole, even Limpopo province can come and play their leagues here. Thank you. Um, when South Africa won the Netball World Cup, the bid to host the Netball World Cup, there was a very important factor that won us that. And it's something that we always um, insist on, that any major sport event must leave a legacy. It may be gone, but we must remember it forever. And it must be happy memories and be something that benefits the country. So with the Netball World Cup 2023, the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture um, used the multi-purpose sports courts that they already roll out as the legacy for Netball World Cup. Because we believe that these multi-purpose sports courts are, um, are they built at schools, School sport is the bedrock of sports development, so it very nicely ties in with the development of sport at grassroots levels and at the same time we will forever remember you know, the benefits of the Netball World Cup 2023. Sports Trust, uh, through the long-standing partnership that we have with the de department, uh, is going to be a partner that will be implementing this uh, state-of-the-art uh, sports courts. Um, and, and I like also the, the fact that uh, instead of just having one multi-purpose sports court, as you would see here, we've got um, a netball court as well as the multi-purpose sports court uh, to uh, uh, encourage the playing of netball in the, in the country. Uh, this relationship, of, as you know, spend, spends uh, uh, from the advent of uh, democracy in South Africa, where we've implemented lots of uh, programs and infrastructure including sports courts uh, all over the country and um, uh, we are happy that uh, you know as the me as a chief of this area i'm happy for this facility and i would like to thanks uh, to thank uh, the, the sports trust for building this facility at my area 
and then to benefit uh, my community and the school and the old uh, elderly people so that they can come and exercise and then they can so that they can be out of drugs and substance abuse and everything. Experience and then now improve. I owner of our own and a relative practice at gravel in Osnaz court and then me Davi Mitoko in a Emi Viring Andre Dokono Ushumanava to Vanjangach Fingachiti in the short time and then Zaitori Recono who produce about Tambi Vanova Doanara. Netball South Africa, which Kono Uta or compete on a netball South Africa was selective. Amy Ashunga Manda Diori, Rwanda Mutambi Mungo, or Vaka this old community, Ashko participate in netball South Africa. First, firstly, Ridana and Divana program in Nedavandu in Wara, Ufana Zino, so Kotamba and under 13 trauma ngazi rules and then overcast rules ravarko improve his skills overcast skills ravarko shumi sa the balls or recono improve his skills and then zitu zanga is non zivazi ko rutu sa recono ushumana na abo forty rosesa is never ko short overcast skills like the rules yeah started playing netball at grade two, yeah, I was still at primary. Then I go to play at secondary school. Then and then I also play now even after school. Yes. Uh, I started playing at primary. I was in grade three. Uh, now I'm playing at Mukondi Seven Stars, and I'm playing goal attacker, goal shooter, and wing attack. Yeah, I think the, the, this court is going to improve our standard. From uh, gravel, now this court, uh, we're gonna excel. Even the school teams, they are gonna, they are going to excel in our district. We are taking girls from outside the street then to to the ground, so that we 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 can avoid teenage pregnancies and uh, gender-based violence. Okay, yeah, we play the Vemba District Netball League. Yeah, and we also play at the Provincial League, where this year we were promoted to play at Section A. From Section B, we are going to play at Section A, or the Provincial League games. Um, I like playing netball because it keeps me away from bad things. My, ma my mind gets away from a lot of bad things, and I enjoy staying with people of my age and playing with them. They are good and I feel so happy because they were given to us, to this community of Mukandeni village and to this school of Chikutura. Because most of schools don't get most of schools don't get these cards, so I feel like ah, I support my the national team, Spapovetias, because I like it and my dream is to play for it one day. This is great, so other areas, other schools don't get this. So as the community, as the school, we are very much grateful. And uh, we shall have to use this facility um, always. And then uh, hopefully in the next World Cup, you'll be seeing more learners, more people from this area. Because they shall be playing, they shall be doing this and that. The message to the, to the youth is that um, youth must um, not uh, be engaged in uh, drugs, in uh, these other um, things that are not good. They must be at, uh, very active in sports, like in netball, because you see the com in, in rural communities, uh, people do not uh, participate much in uh, netballs and they only participate in soccer. So with these facilities, then it means more learners, more people will be uh, have to be engaged in netball and then uh, this can be a good thing to the community it can be a good thing to south africa as a whole well, i joined netball six years ago because i fell in love with the sports just by watching girls play uh, yeah. i play goal defense but 
I can play all positions, just that I mostly play goal defense. So I'm also a assistant coach at our team. Yeah, like you know, struggle and get ball and do three P's. You know, rush and be la. Now, yeah, do a huge injury. That is, especially strips is easy. And then like a, a sharp phone because football no like a three goal total. No, now maybe because. I drive you free, like, I don't know if you can see it, like, I don't know if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it. As a teacher with passion in netball, I'm both in school and out of school. And this court will benefit both the school and out of school. How is it going to happen? This, when there are the school tournament and whatever, Possibly the, the whole district know me better to an extent they will just inform me we want to play netball, then the court are open for them 24-7. And with the Federation, as a chairperson of the Federation, I'm going to, con to, to, to instruct or tell the league manager to say whenever we've got a, a big tournament, it means now that we've got two courts here at Chikutra Secondary School, the courts are open for them to come and play, and that will assist us a lot. If you can have a look, our children are in the rural, rural area, where in they play with this media, and then the media which, of course, they just go for media which they don't understand the outside world, where in when they go to the university, that is a, another world which they they become frustrated, they no, don't know how to cope with the situation because they are from the village. The Department of Sport, Arts and Culture Outreach Program also receives sport apparel and equipment for the schools and community clubs. This will allow the learners to hone their netball skills on these brand new courts. The Sports Trust thanks their stakeholders and partners for their support so that they can continue to enhance education through sport. Oh,